Well, here we are in uh, central South Dakota. This is a friend of ours named Dan, and uh, he's got quite a few, quite a few cars here. I think about 300 of them. He said it's really windy today, so we'll, you know, we'll try to try to speak loud enough so you can hear us. Uh, and we'll show you, we'll do a walk around here and show you approximately what there is, and and uh, go from there. Well, we'll start our tour on this side here. We're getting a few flurries here. There's some clouds. It's pretty, pretty chilly and windy. Uh, a few snow flurries coming down. Anyway, we got a, a 1960 Oldsmobile, Oldsmobile here. This one's a four-door sedan. Got to check out the back end of this car. These are wild looking in the back. Got a couple Corvairs here. This one's what they call a ramp side pickup. Another Corvair here. Because of the rear engine, I guess, uh, well, they do have a tailgate on the back as well, but they have a deeper area in the front here for storage and a, and a side tailgate, kind of unusual. Wind is really rocking us around here. Might be wiggling around a little bit. Here's another Olds here, maybe a 63 or so. This one's a Pontiac. Look like somebody who started restoring this, maybe they're working on it here, putting some primer on it. That's kind of cool. This is unusual here. It's got the uh, the rear window wiper. You don't see that very often on a car of this age, but some of those GM cars had them. I had a Pontiac with one of those on there not too long ago. These are popular too, these taillights for hot rods. It's got the bumper tips on there. That's a pretty cool car. Here's another Olds and a Hudson. Here's a step down Hudson here. It's a four door. There's the Hudson, there's the Olds. Here's a Pontiac Catalina here. Pontiacs have such good looking fronts on them. There aren't too many Pontiacs that aren't good looking. Here's another Olds here. Is this one a 55 was it? Or? 
believe that to be a 55 holes. Here's an Impala here, Chevy Impala. Needs a hood. Yeah, that one's a 66. And we got a little Chevy two-door here. Get a look inside of here. Well, it probably doesn't look like it in this video, but it's pretty chilly here. It's almost, I almost got to get gloves on to hold my camera here. It's spitting snow. Here's another old Super 88. Another Olds. This must be the Oldsmobile aisle. That one's kind of cool. Got a Miller Fire Department sticker on there. Here's another Rolls. This one's got some nice chrome on it. Big mouthy grill there. Look at the rocket hood ornament. That's pretty cool. Like the tail lights on these too, those are cool. Look at the tree growing out of the back of that one. Here is a slant or a uh, fastback Chevy here. This one's got some of the accessory stuff on it. Got the visor. Got the butterfly steering wheel there. Horn ring. This one's going backwards here. This is an international truck here. Oh, my dad jumped in there for keep warm. That's how cool it's getting out here. <laughs> He's along for the ride. This is the 1300 series. Here's another fastback Chevy here. That one had a trailer hitch on there. It looked like somebody Wanted to get in that trunk pretty bad or out of it, one of the two. There's another Chevy here. This one, somebody cut this off into a pickup truck years ago. Cut it down there, see that? Another Chevy here. This one's the regular four door with the bump back on it. Got some fender skirts inside there. Nice grill on that one. Oh, now the sun's coming out. Hopefully that warms it up a little bit. Here's a Studebaker. Four-door Studebaker here. I love the rear windows on these. These are kind of wild looking. This one here is a Chevrolet Coupe.
Style Master. We've got another Chevy here. Somebody was testing out the blue paint on that one, it looks like. Now we'll put Dan's uh, phone number in the description here. So if you want to call him up about any of these cars, most of these are for sale. He's got some that he's keeping. But uh, much of the, what's in these lines are for sale. So you sure can give him a call. Like I say, we're in central South Dakota. This looks like we've got some Fords and Mopars over on this side. Couple 1950s. This one here looks pretty solid. It's a two door. Needs a trunk lid. That'd make a neat little hot rod though. I guess there's a trunk lid there, but it's not very good, but you could find another one for it. They call these a shoebox, the style Ford. There's another one there. Here's another one here. All shoeboxes. See the cows looking over there, some Herefords, I believe, checking us out over here. This is cattle country up here. A lot of big ranches around, farms and stuff. Now this one's a two-door hardtop. It's a Phoenix model. It's a Dodge. Look at that rear window. That rear window is huge. And it's not broken either. Still good. That's a two-door hardtop, kind of a cool car. Looks like it's got the shifter on the column there. Thought it might have a push button. And we got a Ford Sunliner here. This is a convertible. You know what they say, top goes down, the price goes up. There you go. You don't see very many Sunliner convertibles of these years. Look at the, it must have had a big whip antenna on that at one point. Look at that antenna mount. There's a Chrysler here. Mercedes. You don't see very many Mercedes in South Dakota. There's a little Dodge two-door there. And an interesting car. That one's a Wayfarer model. Still got quite a few in this row here. We'll go down the row. This is a Ford Galaxy 500. Kind of a fastback. Check out the roof line on that.
This is a Plymouth Sport Fury. Got the trailer hitch on there. This one's a convertible as well. This one's a 1967. You know what's kind of unusual too? It's a convertible, but it's also good air condition in there. And it looked like they had a tack next to the shifter. It's got a console, buckets and a console. That's kind of cool. Here's this Sport Fury there. It says Commando V8. Got another Plymouth here. Six. That one's a 56. Yep. It's a two-door sedan. They're kind of cool looking. They got a little fins on the back here. This one's a Plaza model. Kind of good looking tail fins on there. Here's a big Chrysler New Yorker. I guess this one here is probably a 65 or so. Probably got a 440 under the hood, maybe a 383, I don't know. Big block, I'm sure. Got a Ford here, this is a two-door hardtop. See the hardtop there, it's a Victoria. You can see the name right on there. And the overdrive transmission in there. Got another Dodge here. Is this a 55? Four door sedan. Got some cool trim on the fenders there. These are good looking cars. Dodges of those years. Really nice. Here's another Ford. That one's a four door. Another four, another two Fords here. These are mostly like 52 to 4 era Ford cars. He's got several of them here. Looks like that one's got a bunch of parts inside it. Show you these cows I was talking about here. Zoom in on them a little bit. They're just staring over here. See what's going on. There's their water. Well, here's what Dan loads stuff with here. The old Oliver. Still in good working condition. Got a loader on the front. We'll swing over to this aisle here. This aisle is mostly pickup trucks. You can see there's a whole row of pickup trucks there. Here's a square body GMC. Yeah, here's the unit bodies. You notice how the uh, cab and the bed are all one piece on these. Look at the Al Service, Huron, South Dakota. Notice how the bed comes right into the cab like that. They're kind of wild. They did those for a few years. They, I don't know how well they sold, but they're cool looking trucks. They even got their own tailgate, a different tailgate. Here's another one here. This one's a blue one and a red one. Boy, that wind's really whipping over here. Another Ford truck here. The hood got caught on something, looks like. Another one here. This one's an F-150. Foil drive chassis there. This one here also has the uh, Huron tag there too, see? Larry Swenson. That one's the F-250 right there.
Here's another square body Chevy. This one's a four-wheel drive. Long box. Or I guess it's a GMC model, not a Chevy. Pretty much the same truck other than some trim and stuff. See the four-wheel drive hubs on there? Sierra Grande 15. Come out of Iowa there. This one is a C20, a custom deluxe 20. It's a three-quarter ton Chevy. Here's the Ford pickup here. Two-wheel drive long box. Here's another one here, F100. Got a Chevy here. Looks like a C10, yeah. Half ton, two wheel drive. And we got another square body here. This one's a two wheel drive long box. And we got a Ford here. That's an F-250, and this one's a four-wheel drive. Got the four-wheel drive front axle hubs there. Look at this. Georgia State Patrol 1980 inspection. Got the transfer case laying on the back there. Another Ford here. That one's a two-wheel drive. Long box. And we got another Chevy and a Ford there. This one's a two-wheel drive C10. This one's a short box. You don't see very many short boxes in South Dakota. It's mostly Farmers and ranchers and you know, they were work trucks. So usually four-speed transmission with a long box That one there is a short box and It's the back end of the Ford there Get on to the other side of this rock pile here and we can check out a couple cars there At the end of this video, we'll show you what we bought, what we've got on the trailer. This here is a, a Chevy. There's my dad catching a little relief from the wind in there again. He's inside it. So this one's got the bumper tips, got the deluxe sort ornament. It's got some goodies on it. Looks pretty solid, not a bad car really. It's a style master. Got the full wheel cover hubcap there. You got the rear bumper tips. Let's see what that looks like inside there. Take a little tour inside it here. It's, it's, it's pretty yeah. nice in there actually. Look at the, the dash is all pretty good. Pretty good original car, really. Looks like original black paint, probably. And we got a Trans Am here. That one was coming out of Wegner's and Pier. That's where I bought my pickup truck. Got the T tops. Pontiac Trans Am right there. Then we got a Chevy Camaro here as well. Camaro is pretty solid, not much rust in that one. Well, we'll jump over to the next aisle from here. 
Well, yeah, we'll start over on this side here. Got another C10 here. Looks like a two-wheel drive long box. Ford Fairlane there. Somebody's hot rod. Look at the wheels on there. Kind of disc looking wheel. This is, I believe, a 59 Ford here. And this is another Ford here. Wow, look at that. Look at the engine on this. It's a Thunderbird engine, but it's just packed with dirt. I don't think I've ever seen one with that much dirt. I mean, that is right up almost to the valve cover. That must have really been sunk in the ground there. What year was this one? Uh, 62. Yeah, a couple Oldsmobile wagons. Don't see very many of these. Another one here, this one's missing the front clip. Pretty solid body though, I guess. I don't know the last time I've seen one of those Olds wagons like that. Well, from here we'll jump over here. We got a another pickup here. This is a Chevy. It's a C20. Two-wheel drive, long box. That paint color, that copper paint, that's real common color for those. We've had quite a few with that. That color scheme, this one's got a white top. Here's a little import pickup. I don't know if this is a Toyota or what it is. Let's see here, maybe we can tell on the tailgate. No, it's a Ford, it's a Courier, I guess. And this is another little Ford Econoline pickup. These are pretty cool. I mean, they got the cab way ahead. Neat looking trucks. We'll, show, we'll step around to the front of that. This looks like a 51 Ford. This one here is really solid and straight. Real solid, straight body on that one. It's a four door. But it has a great look to it, great patina. This is also a shoebox like those 50s we showed you, but notice the double bullets there, that's 51. Just a good solid car though. And this is the front of the Econoline. See how you sit way out front, I mean you're sitting like right above the front tires. Pretty wild. Yeah? Yeah, you don't want to be in an accident in that. You're right up against the windshield. And we'll jump over to the other side here. Well, we'll get this one here too. We didn't, I just about missed this one. It's kind of on the end of the aisle. It's a Bel Air Chevy, it's two door. Pretty solid body on that one. These are the ones we just checked out here, so we'll jump to the back side of this aisle here. Well, we'll get some more Chevy trucks here. That one to the left is a C10 two-wheel drive. We've got a heavier truck here, medium series Chevy. Looks like a C50. We got a couple more square bodies here. That one's a Chevy. Looks like a two-wheel drive. This one here is a Chevy, and this one's a four-wheel drive. I 
That one's fairly solid, actually. Make somebody a good truck. Those square bodies are really popular now, and they're hard to find that aren't all rusty. They're very rust prone. There's a 64 Chevy Impala. This one's a four door hardtop. Kind of unusual. Looks like it needs one door there. Well, we've got a lineup of international trucks there. One's a, one's a cab over and a couple straight trucks there. Get over a little closer to them here. That cab over is pretty cool. And we've got a Plymouth here. Four-door. Looks like another Chevy here. This one donated its front clip to something else, probably. Still got some good parts on it, I'm sure. It's a four-door. Got the old farm all there. And a Ford truck. This one's an F. Six. Got a hydraulic dump on the back. Those are always one of the better looking years there with the toothy grill. 51 and 2 look like that. The little differences on the trim on them to differentiate the year. Well, we'll swing around this side. We got a Ford pickup there, dent side, and a GMC farm truck there. And we got a couple more Fords over there. We'll swing around this side here. Here's a Ford pickup here. What is this cut off one here? It looks like maybe a Chevy. Chevy car with the back end cut off. Still got a few parts on it, I'm sure. Looks like probably a 51 or so. Fighting my way through the weeds here. Here's a cool looking farm truck here. It's a Ford. Good solid cab on that one. Generally in South Dakota, you don't get much rust, you know. Back east, that would be all rusted out down there, but that's the original paint on there. Pretty good truck, really. You can see the clouds coming in there. I hope we don't get much snow here. I'll tell you, it is windy. My hands are about frozen holding this camera. It's a lot nicer Watching this on the TV, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we'll jump over here. There's a Packard. Don't know exactly the year on that one. Somewhere 52 to 4. And then there's a Chevy truck over there. Looks like a 1950 Chevy farm truck. Zoom over this side. There's a Ford, another Ford, and another Ford. This one here is a extended cab, four-wheel drive. Looks like you got a Plymouth on this side. Plymouth there. Look at that scenery out there though, just beautiful. That's why I love South Dakota right there. We'll catch a couple of these. Here's a Volkswagen Beetle. And another Oldsmobile. Dan seems to like the Oldsmobiles. He's got a lot of them. Well, 
This is a Hudson here. This is one of the last years of a Hudson. In 1970, North Dakota plate on there. It's been off the road away a while. Yeah, is that a 56? And what year is the, the Mopar Coupe there? Is that a Plymouth or what? It's a Dodge, huh? Dodge Coupe there, somewhere 46 to 8 style. Then we've got a pretty nice Ford wagon here. It's a two door ranch wagon. That's a 56. Nice front on that. What do we get on the ground here? Looks like an artillery wheel. Yep. Maybe, I don't know if that's a 16 inch or maybe a 17 inch, probably. Yeah, that wagon's pretty nice. Ford wagon. You don't see very many of them in the two door model. another Ford pickup. Looks like a two-wheel drive half ton. There's a 46 or 7 Ford car there. And this one is a Dodge. I think a 42. A wartime Dodge. Somebody had an aftermarket hood ornament on there it looks like. Yeah, 42 Dodge. This here looks like a Saab. Yeah, it's a Saab, two-door car. I don't know how to tell the years on those. You know what year this Saab is? Probably like 63 or so. Early 60s. I don't know the import cars very well. There's a Volkswagen Beetle cut in half there. And another Ford farm truck. Swing around this ways. See a couple AMC Pacers back in there. There's the Jaguar. Right there. We'll catch those in a minute. We'll jump over to this aisle first here. Got another Ford custom line there, two door. Chevy two-door there. And we got an International. This is a Scout 2. Four-wheel drive model. Here's that Chevy. There's a Chevy truck door here. I'll have to ask Dan about this door here. Looks like something we, we might need. Jump around the back of this aisle here. Get on the other side of them. Check them out a little better here. This one's a Plymouth, 49 Plymouth. You can tell a Plymouth because they get that ripple bumper, triple ripple. Those are real popular for hot rods. This is a Pontiac here, two door. Looks fairly solid. And this one is a Chrysler New Yorker. See the front end of it there. Fifty-eight New Yorker. Over here we got a Chevy panel truck. Oh, maybe that's where that door comes from. I'll bet you where that. I bet you that's where that door came from there. I guess this one. It's a Chevy or GMC. It's got a GMC hood. I believe that is a GMC. Look at the old 
advertising on there. Cleaners, laundry service. See the phone number? 5531. This one's got the barn door style back. It's pretty cool. Oklahoma plate, 1970 on there. Panel truck. And we got another Chevy pickup here. Looks like a two-wheel drive. Half ton, long box. And on my right here, we have a Dodge. This looks like probably a, I don't know if that's a heavy half ton or what it is, might be. That's a Dodge pickup truck. Got the spotlight on the top. And here's another Oldsmobile right there. Well, we'll jump up to the other aisle here. Well, we'll jump over to this side. Here's a Studebaker. A little Studebaker pickup. Looks like somebody had that two-toned at one point. Well, here's where these AMC Pacers are. The one on the left is the older one. The one on the right, notice the bumped up grill on it. That's, I think, a 79 or 80. I believe 80 was the last year for the Pacer. But they are wild. That's the Wayne's World car right there. Real bubble car. I had one of these. We had a lot of fun with it back when I was a teenager. It's kind of right after the Wayne's World movie came out. This is the older style. That's about like the one I had. I had a 76, I think. And we got a Ford pickup there and a Chevy wheel drive, square body. And we got a couple of early cars here. What are these, Buick or? Let's see if we can, yeah, Buick. A couple of Buicks there, looks like. What's left of them? Here's another unibody Ford. You see how that bed goes right into the cab? That's a long box one, too. Well, over there in the distance, you got a Chevy truck. Looks like a parts truck. Here's the back end of a Chevy car, I think. Here's a pretty solid pickup box. Looks like maybe a seven foot, probably a a long box, half ton, I'm guessing. Chevrolet, pretty nice shape. I'll swing around this side here. That blue cab's a Ford cab. Somewhere 67 to 72. The, believe it or not, it's starting to snow a little harder. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's starting to get some heavier flurries and it is cold. I didn't think it was, it was supposed to be 60 degrees today. It is not 60 degrees, it's in the 30s and windy. It's cold, my hands are about frozen. Looks like we got a Ford Coupe there, somewhere 46 to eight style. Here's a big Chevy square body. There's a 58 or nine fleet side box there, Chevy, long box. We got another Hudson there, Hudson Hornet. That's another one of those. One of the last years for Hudson there, look at that big Chrome trim on the back taillights here. Pretty cool car. And there's a 51 Ford in front of it. Looks like another Chevy or GMC pickup next to it there. Swing around this way here. Got a couple Chevy trucks over here. We'll check them out. This one here, cab looks kind of dented in. Still got some parts, got the radio delete, a few things. Hood hinges. Got the driver's door there. That one would make a good patch panel for somebody. It's got a good solid bottom and it's not dented. These are so many times are dented right there. It's got a little bit of dent, but not much. Make a good patch bottom for somebody. 
But the back of the cab is dented up there, see it? Looks like it's got one running board on it. And we got another Chevy truck over there. This one's missing the doors and stuff. It's a bigger truck, ton and a half. Looks like uh, somebody's already got that one for parts. Look at the ambulance there. Chevy van, it's a C20 van. It's an ambulance, that's kind of cool. Got a box here, looks like probably a Studebaker, I'm guessing. Yep, you see somebody put a grain door, but it says Studebaker on the back. You got a, a Ford short box there on the ground. Looks like probably a Chevy truck, I'm guessing, here. Yep, that one's a Chevrolet truck there. Got a Pontiac back in the back there. You can see the silver streak on it. These two green internationals we're going to get from Dan here. We've traded something for him, so we'll pick those up on a future trip up, up to here. He's only about an hour and a half from us. So I'll come up and grab those here pretty soon. Here's a 58 or 9 Chevy pickup there. And that's a four-wheel drive. You don't see very many of those. That's a nice truck. This one says something. Mobridge, Mo South Dakota on the door there. I believe that one to be a Studebaker back in the 20s. Well, we got a Scout over there, International Scout 2. And then this is a, a Model A. 28 or 9 Model A Ford. This is a two-door sedan, I believe, that somebody cut into a pickup truck. Depression-era pickup truck. That didn't start out as a pickup. And we'll go over this side here. This is a piggyback. A couple international trucks here. I like that one on top, that's pretty nice. Look at the nice heavy spoke wheels. See the international tag on the side of the hood there? Look at the old painting on there. Local hauling, Hardcastle it says. Phone number 638 or something like that. It even has international on the running board there. That's a nice truck, good solid truck. This one here is pretty solid too. It's a A160. It's a nice looking truck right there. So it's a pair of internationals right there. Let's see what these older ones are over here. Looks like a Model T chassis. There's a couple Model T chassis there. This cab on its side is a, it's a Model T, Model T cab, that's a tall T cab right there. A couple of Model T or something cowls over there, it's a Model A door there, 28 or 9 passenger door. This is a, a four-door sedan Model A. That's had the rear doors taken off it. That bed is kind of unusual right there. 
it's either a Dodge or an International. I'm not sure which. But they both look very similar. About a 1934 or 5 right in there. Stepping through some holes in the grass here. There's a 58 Chevy here, two door. Multicolored, but looks pretty solid. There's another big Chevy, that orange one, C50 or 60 probably. Birds flying over here. That one's got Nevada plates on it. Well, there's a Nash. That's probably a 46 or 7 Nash Coupe right there. It is a Plymouth two door, maybe a 52 or so. Got a Firebird here. Z28, right there. And another Camaro here. I think Dan's kind of been into these Camaros and stuff of those years. Well, we'll jump over to the other side from here. Looks like over here is the motorcycle department. Japanese Honda and Yamaha motorcycles there. Uh, there's a Ford Ranchero hiding back in here. Check that out. That one looks pretty good, pretty solid. Nice little Ranchero there. Check out what's behind the building here. Here's another Oldsmobile. Right there, two door hardtop. Pretty good car from the looks of it. No motor, got a nice white interior. Let's see what he's got in the barn here. Dan bales up a lot of hay, sells the little square bales for people. This one's a Triumph. A little Triumph Roadster in there. We gotta check out this bus over here. Walk over there and see what it is. I can tell it's a Chevy from here. That blue bed there looks like an international pickup box. 50s. I can hear the snow geese are coming in. I can hear the snow geese flying over. Yeah, that looks like uh, that one we we did a video the other day of an auction, and that one I believe was a Chevy as well, and the body was made by an aircraft company that they sold at that auction. This kind of looks like the same deal. Aluminum body, Chevy front. Yeah, I'll bet you that's, I'll bet you that's the same manufacturer. I can't see where those geese are because of the clouds. Boy, I sure hope it don't snow while we're here. Those geese are up in the clouds there somewhere. Here's a nice little wrecker boom. That's pretty cool there. Well, this is a Packard here that got cut down into a pickup. Looks like a Chevy or GMC bed on it. It's a Packard car. Another farm all tractor there. 
There's an old camper, aluminum camper, and there's a Chevy there, three quarter ton Chevy pickup. Looks like a 54 probably. Well, and you can see over there is a core there. Must be a convertible, got a topper on it. And there's another Ford way up there, maybe a 51. From there, we'll jump around to the front. Now we had a little glitch, we'll catch back up on this one here. Yeah, I was just saying, it looks like it had a little peep mirror. It's got the bracket still on there. Got a radio on that one. Looks like the original green paint, probably. Pretty solid old car. Dan's got a lot of these 42 to 48 cars there, Chevys. Well, we got a Pontiac here. Right there, we got a New Holland Baylor. Got a blue Chevy there, got a Jeep, Jeep Cherokee here. It's an orange one, four door. That one looks pretty solid. Farm all. Here's another one, another Chevrolet. This one's a two door sedan. That one's got the Hood ornament on it and the headlight bezel still on there. Got a Camaro there. Well, that kind of pan around that area. We'll jump out to our last section here out in front. Little utility body here. Chevy Coupe there, it looks like. Kind of rocking around here. Sorry if it's a little wiggly. That wind is really whipping me around here. Here's another big square body C60. Old implement uh, delivery truck. Still got the John Deere on the hood there. This is wild here. This is a World War II era, you know, 42 3 Studebaker shovel truck. And that, I believe, is a six-wheel drive. That's a pretty cool old shovel truck. Check it out from the other side here. Dan said his uncle used to have this one, and he ended up with it. He had somebody haul it in for him because it's too heavy for his trailer. Look at the big tow hooks on the front. That's pretty cool. You don't see very many Studebakers, you know, World War II Studebaker trucks, and that one with the shovel on it, it's really, really interesting. There's the back end of that. Look at that tail section on that implement truck. That's crazy. Well, looks like we got a Chrysler there, 46 to 8 style. Coming up on it here. Big wide white wall in the front there. Some pretty nice grill trim on there. Nice hood ornament. Looks like a solid car. Check it out here. It's a Windsor. You know, I don't see where it said Highlander, but it's got the Highlander interior. See that plaid, plaid interior? That was the Highlander model. See the door panels? People like these too. These are good for hot rods and stuff. The little flipper window cranks. And we've got a Fraser there. Then we got a Nash that was cut down into a pickup truck. And another square body Chevy there. Another one behind it. That one looks really solid there. It's a two wheel drive. I think a three quarter ton. 
looks like a Rio in front of it there. That blue truck. And a Kaiser car next to it there beside the pole. Here's a little Toyota car. Now this is cool. This is a big chunky uh, GMC here. See the GMC grill. But notice how wide the front is. It's got big, big fenders. This is a 450 series. This is a big truck. And what's un what's interesting, you can see this was a semi. You can see the hitch on the back there. But what's interesting about this is you don't see too many of these. Look at the corner windows. That's cool. So that's a five window cab on there. Big series GMC. I don't know if you can hear that on the recording here, but the wind is whistling through here. It sounds eerie. Now here's a Dodge, a little dual wheel, two wheel drive, D300. This is the first of this series. I don't know if that's a 72 or three right in there with that type of grill. And look at the cab lights. They didn't want you to miss them with those. They got some serious cab lights on the top there. Looks like a good solid little truck. Well, that's about it for Dan's stuff here. I'll show you what we got on the trailer and uh, finish it off there. Thank you. Okay, bear with me with the wind here. These are the things we got. You know, we're heavy on trucks. I like trucks, I like pickups, stuff in the 30s to the 60s mostly. This here is a 37 Ford truck, cab. You see it said something on the door there. We've got to lay it on its back. This is an international here. I believe that to be a D series probably, a 37 to 40. And this is a Ford here, 51 or two Ford truck. See the old name on there, Missouri. Town of Missouri, yes, NW Distributing Company. Now that's an F6. So these are things that we'll part out. You know, they got good parts on there, good grills and trim and all kinds of stuff. Then the people make a rat rod out of the cab or whatever. So we got these three and we got the two internationals I talked about in the video. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it other than the wind and the cold. But, you know, that's life in the fast lane here. So if you like these kind of videos and uh, you want to see more of them, Subscribe to our channel. We do them all the time. And if you give us thumbs up and give us good comments and stuff, all that stuff helps promote the channel and we can do more of these videos. We get to stuff, you know, pretty regularly. We're looking at hundreds of cars a week. And uh, so if you're into old cars, give us some positive feedback on this stuff and we'll do as many as we can. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.